Well, here we go. It's turn 11, June 1915, Eastern Front. Uh, the Germans moved in some troops, fresh troops, replacements, and filled the gap right there. The Austrians moved some troops over here, looking at that corner right there. And uh, that's pretty much it. I need to dig those guys in. I forgot about that. But at the moment, there you go. They're all dug in pretty much, except for where they moved troops in. Now we're sitting in a fort. Right now they're just in a holding pattern on the eastern front for the central powers just because, well, they need all the troops they can to go to the western front right now. The western front is sucking up all the uh, replacement troops because even the Germans are start, starting to run out of troops over there. It's getting a little more harder to do some attacks, but you know, we'll just have to see what's going on over there. But kind of interesting. Uh, we mosey on over to the Western Front. Uh, things have kind of collapsed. Uh, the French pulled back here, trying to form a new defensive line around the crossroads right here. And the Germans came in and just, just smashed things. You know, there used to be a unit right there, got crushed. There was a unit here that got crushed. And there was a unit that used to be right here, but they took a bunch of troops with them. One of those deals where they att the Germans attacked, but there was a couple of exchanges right there. So the Germans lost more troops, and then they come around over here. Uh, the city of Calais has fallen to the Germans. They moved some troops in there, and they come like this and around about. And, well, they are looking to round up some British right there. But right now, the Germans look like the pincer movement is heading towards Paris this direction, and a pincer movement going down this. They'll have a column going this way and a column going this way from the way it's looking. This way and this way. And the British are the only thing, to be honest, the only thing that's stopping the uh, German advance in the north because it's they're holding out quite well, the, the British are, because the troop quality is just as good as the Germans. And it's kind of hard at this stage for the Germans to get enough troops to get some good attacks because, well, a lot of their troops are in the dead pile over here. Look, look, look at that pile, the dead Germans and Austrians. But it's even worse when you look at the French and the, and everybody's got their casualty rates are greater than their replacement pool is. The only one that's doing well is uh, the neutrals because they're not losing troops. So we'll just have to see what's going on uh, with the Allied turn. We'll see if they can pull things back. Will the Russians put even more pressure on the Germans, punch more holes through the lines? and dwindle down the resources on the western front that because to be honest with you the only thing that's keeping really is the russians causing casualties greater than the replacements that the germans have because they're taking casualties themselves on the western front so it's grinding down true quality is kind of decreasing because the germans are starting to buy a lot of 464 troops just to fill gaps and they're not buying their expensive, more excellent uh, 684 troops. So, yep, we'll see. All right, we'll be back. All right, here we go. Turn 11, Allied turn. The Russians are still pounding over here. And once again, it came down to one unit of Germans held the fort while the Russians had some problems trying to take it. Russians took casualties trying to take it, but they ground down the units that were in there except for one. Seems to be the par for the course. Uh, they didn't do anything along here, but they did attack Lemberg, and they did take the city, but they did take some casualties in the process, some half exchanges, and but they reduced the city and took it back. So they're now in Austrian control or control of an Austrian city once again. 
And now it's what can happen? Or will the Austrians take it back? Or will it be held this time by the Russians? It's hard to say. Not looking good for the Austrians. We have to see. Like, uh, I think it's. Well, we're not to worry about 1916 when we start worrying about war weariness, and that's what really hurts in this game. All right, so that's everything that happened on the Eastern Front. Now we run over here to the Allies. Things have changed. The Allies. Uh, the British said, to heck with this. Pulled back behind the, the river right here and consolidated into smaller army groups. And suddenly they... A bunch of British just up and disappeared. They got onto the boats and said, we're out of here. And like, well, where are they going? And the French are not too happy seeing that their British allies have left the uh, country. Don't know what's going on with that, but uh, we'll find out here in a second. And the Brit French pulled their lines back here, built some troops in here, have a delaying action going on right here. So it's kind of like, all right, we need to fall back, regroup, and get a breather here and let the uh, Germans try to catch up with them. And right at the moment, when you look at it, most of the German units can go one, two, they cannot come in contact. So that's except for in some places where they have a, enough movement. But that's going to help the uh, these units to entrench the next turn and build a, a further increase the length of their lines over here so there is sometimes just giving up territory is a good thing learned that playing with the russians before and where did those british go oh they're down here uh they went down here went through the atlantic come to gibraltar and they're sitting here at this this friend, friendly french port here what could be going on i don't know it's just crazy it's like you never know what could happen around here you know things could change and well the british uh are tired of fighting in france all the time they might be looking at something that could happen where they could uh affect the war a little bit better it's hard to say what might happen but well we'll just see what happens in the next turn with the allies so yep We'll uh, go on to July of 1915, and let's see. I think in July of 1915, I think the Allies get a lot of reinforcements, so we'll just have to see. All right, we'll be back.